Hello everybody, we're just a few days away from our workshop, so I wanted to do something that would make things a little quicker for you when we get started. In the first session, we're gonna do a design using the Inspy Designer. If you go to Designer and click on Designer underneath there, that'll bring you to the Designer window. Now, when we're in Designer, what we wanna do is we wanna open a file, and I put a new file in here that should really help us get things going a lot quicker. If you go to Recents and you open up Recent, you should see a Digital Service Workgroup template in here. Now what we're going to want to do when we start is we're going to want to come down and click on the three little dots here and then click on Clone. All right. And whatever you want to name this model, you're going to name it from here. So I, I'll just say uh, John Demo 1. And if you want to use it in a, in a Digital Service Workgroup instance, you could come in here and do the same thing that I'm doing right now. All right, so now I save that as John Demo 1, I can go into editing. Now the beauty of this model or this template is that it has everything we need already on here. So it has the business capability, the business application, the application services, service offering and the business service, and all the related relationships that we need to get going. If you need to copy one of these, just right click on them and say duplicate, and you'll have another one that you can drag next to the one you have and also create the relationships that you need to. Okay. So for now, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and name each of these. So the business service capability, it needs a name. Let me just get rid of this one here. The business capability needs a name. The, the relationships do not need names. So for business capability, I'm just going to come down here and name, and I'm going to name this, I don't know, we'll do a, uh, learning management is going to be our, our business capability. So I, I need, as an organization, I need to have a learning management capability. In order to do learning management, I'm going to go ahead and buy a LMS application. I don't know any brands there, so I'll, I'll just say LMS application there. And then on, under application services, what am I going to call this stack? Right, so this is this represents my technology stack, and I'm going to call this LMS Prod, uh, and I'll just call it Prod One. I can put that in there. Now, what am I actually looking to get? So I need a learning management capability. My service that I'm going to provide to the organization is going to be a service called Learning Management, and it's pretty common to have the name of the service be pretty close to the name of the capability that you're you're actually starting from. Okay, so I bought an app, deployed it on some hardware, some infrastructure. I have a business service. And then what am I going to do here in my service offering? Well, one of my offerings will be uh, new learning uh, video, right? I'm going to provide it under that service. I'm going to be let people to come in and, and create new learning videos for their departments. And now I have everything I need in here named. And this is just one in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save the changes to John Demo 1. And the last step we'll want to do, you'll spend much more time on this because we have a whole hour. But the last thing that you want to do with this is you want to go ahead and commit this. So after I save it, I can go back to my folder right here. And that folder takes us back to where we started in this John Demo 1 diagram. What I'm going to do differently this time is I'm going to click on all of these future relationships and I'm going to commit them. And that's basically what you'll do for that first exercise. You're going to design your common service data model. You're going to go ahead and commit them to the CMDB. And I want you to bring back two things. One, I want you to come back and be able to show us this diagram and speak to what you did. It could either be a screenshot or it could be in the actual product itself. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to go back to your application services and find that new application service that you just created. So you can actually show it to me in the CMDB. I created LMS Prod. So if I open that application service, now I can look at things in the traditional way that I'm used to in ServiceNow. I can say, show me the dependency view. And what we should see is that dependency on that application with all of the things that we created. And what I see at first is just the related neighbors. But if I go ahead and I click it up a couple notches, so let's go up to three and apply that. And I could see what we just built. So I see all the relationships from the business capability down to the business app, 
to the application service and then up from the application service to the service offering all the way to the business service. Now, we'll talk about dressing this up a little bit more later because what I might want to do is I might want to come in here and add some things that aren't common service data model, right? So I could add some pictures of some people up here that will represent our consumers. We'll talk about those things in the next section. Thank you very much. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you all come up with on Tuesday. We'll see you then.